So what the hell happened to Leonardo DiCaprio? Like seriously, that's one crucial question that's making minds go crazy these days. Y'all remember Jack Dawson from Titanic who couldn't be rescued at the end? Now that role made him one of the most sought after men in the world. Now I remember every single teenage girl in the 90s had a crush on this man. And the amount of times I had to sit through that freaking movie when my sister was watching it was stupid. But look, as time passed, that innocent ladies man disappeared into the crowded entertainment industry. And we all find ourselves wondering what is old Leo gone and been up to? Now the one who had us all fallen in love, where'd he end up? So let's rewind and go back to the past to understand this issue better. The success of the movie Titanic was not the only reason for Leo to become a star overnight. This dude was already stirring the sea before the giant wave came in with a blockbuster. In 1993 and 19, he acted in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, where he played the role of a mentally challenged teenager along with Johnny Depp. Now, frankly speaking, that was one of his best performances. If y'all have watched that performance, y'all can understand why he was nominated for an Oscar. At that age, DiCaprio had shown that he wasn't your typical heartthrob, that he was a star in the making. And after that, all of his hard work started to pay off. His two back-to-back -back blockbusters, Romeo and Juliet and Titanic, made Leonardo DiCaprio the king of Hollywood. By the end of the 90s, he was cinema's golden boy. Now his poster adorned the bedrooms of millions of teenagers and the faces of hundreds of magazine covers. But Leo had some other plans, unlike many young stars who ride that wave and continue to do typecast pictures. See, he decided to go to the other side and left his status as a heartthrob. DiCaprio switched sides and started selecting scripts that offered him more profound roles. Now those included some darker and not to mention opposite the romantic hero that we assumed he would continue to take on. This guy did The Aviator, Blood Diamond, Shutter Island, and The Wolf of Wall Street. More importantly, each performance showed his flexibility and potential to explore the character and emotions of the different roles. If y'all watched even half of these films, y'all understand that he's one of the most gifted actors of his generation. Leo started to become a movie star not only because of his attractiveness, but also because of his ability to act. And yet, despite all of these incredible roles, it took DiCaprio over two decades to finally grab his Oscar for The Revenant. Now, how nuts is that? For years, it seemed like the whole world was waiting for Leo to get his dues. Now, he was nominated for the award in the past, and every single time, he lost. So why did it take so long? Bad luck, timing, perhaps. But when that time arrived, people around the globe collectively let out a breath that they didn't even know they was holding. Finally. But while DiCaprio's career was skyrocketing, his personal life was making just as many headlines, if not more. And his dating history was everybody's favorite. Leo's love life has been almost as publicized as his acting career. One common thread, though, seems impossible to ignore. The age of his girlfriends. Over the years, the internet in particular has had a ball with this, highlighting how DiCaprio apparently only dates women over the age of 25. Strange much? Maybe. True? Well, let's just turn to facts and figures for this. Every single girl that DiCaprio's been with has been considerably younger than him. And their ages was, y'all guessed it, not older than 25. Now at 49, DiCaprio's dating Vittoria Soretti, an Italian supermodel who get this, has just turned 26 years old. Now does that mean that there's like an expiration date on this relationship too? Or is she gonna be the exception to the rule? Or is all of this just a myth and nothing else? The internet has certainly had fun with this. Memes, charts, graphs, people have created detailed analyses of DiCaprio's dating habits. Noticing his girlfriend seemingly staying the same age while he continues to age, it's kinda something man. Now what started as an odd observation has become a full-blown pop culture phenomenon. But look it, all jokes aside, it does kind of make you wonder, what's happening here, man? Is this just a coincidence or is there something more gruesome going on behind the scenes? Well, besides DiCaprio's strange dating relationships, the dude's really vocal about issues related to the environment. Now he's advocated for climate change for many years and even founded the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation to support endangered ecosystems and sustainable development. In 2014, he was appointed a United Nations Messenger of Peace due to his environmental work. 
Now the guys directed programs such as Before the Flood, which is documentaries considering the destructive impact of climate change. He's also spent millions of dollars of his money on different environmental organizations. Beyond any reasonable doubt, nobody can tell that DiCaprio's got the interest of the planet in his heart. But here's where things start getting a bit dicey. Despite all the environmentalism that he's into, DiCaprio has been accused of inconsistency and at times even hypocrisy. The guy's been photographed riding in private jets and enjoying a holiday on a luxury yacht. Two things that are far from friendly to the environment, as one could imagine. Society has been wondering how a particular person can advocate for the fight against climate change while participating in practices that cause that change. I mean, people got a valid point, right? Now this contradiction has not left the public in the dark. Even his fans are starting to question some of his choices. And while we're on the topic of controversy, we can't ignore DiCaprio's connection to one of the biggest financial scandals in recent history, the 1MDB corruption scandal. In case y'all missed it, here's the rundown. Malaysian businessman Joe Lowe is accused of stealing billions of dollars from a Malaysian development fund and then living a the high life in Hollywood. And guess what? DiCaprio's name came up. In 2010, DiCaprio reportedly met Joe Lowe and the two became friends. Now, Lowe even helped finance the Wolf of Wall Street, and that's where things started to get messy. Lowe was accused of using stolen funds to finance the movie. And while DiCaprio didn't have any direct link with the crime, his name was dragged into the mess. He had to testify during the trial, recalling moments like Lowe offering to donate a whopping 20 to 30 million dollars to President Obama's re-election campaign. Now that's some mad cheddar. Although he wasn't directly involved in the scandal, the association definitely dented his image. So the big question is, what the heck happened to Leo? Is he even still the same guy everybody fell in love with during Titanic, or has he evolved into something entirely different? On one hand, he remains one of the most talented actors of his generation, constantly pushing boundaries and challenging himself with every role. The guy's an environmental advocate trying to make a difference on a global scale. But on the other hand, his personal life, particularly his relationships and some questionable connections, has sparked some controversy. Now here's the thing, he's always kept his personal life private, and he rarely gives interviews and doesn't explain himself. Now maybe that's a part of his allure. The guy's mysterious, he lets his work do the talking, and everybody's left to fill in the blanks. And maybe that's why so many people are still so fascinated by him after all these years. Despite the memes, the headlines, and the controversies, DiCaprio remains a mystery. He's a world-class actor, an environmental warrior, and yeah, the guy with the thing for young models. Now, he's all those things and more. So what happened to Leonardo DiCaprio? Maybe nothing, maybe everything. And one thing's for sure, whatever it is, we all still watching. Oh, and by the way, in case y'all haven't heard, the Sacramento shot Leonardo DiCaprio feature film has got a name and a 2025 release date. The Battle of Back and Cross is set for an August 2025 theatrical release, according to IMDb. So looking like Leo's got another big one coming, so stay tuned.